Hi, Wanda. Hi, Maurice. How are you? I'm actually really great today. I'm so excited to be talking to you. Um, I think you're like kind of the bomb. Well, first I was going to say how much I love your work and it's, you know, the, your, your arrangements and all just so just beautiful. And, and, uh, and I love what you sent me. Thank you. That was so sweet. My pleasure. I have to say, I loved, um, the way in the Upshaws, how you guys dealt with, um, your queer character, Bernard, the, the oldest son being the gay one. I just thought there was such a, a, a grace in how complicated everything was in that show, but there was like a tone of humor. And I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, being that you're a comic and you're funny, that's the way that you deal with complicated subject matter. Can you talk more about that? Definitely use use humor to deal with to, to deal with those issues. Um, I know, like just personally, like you know, my my family had a hard time, you know, really hard time. And I when I was like in my late thirties ish or forty, I guess when I when I came out to them, they had a hard time. And and I you know, and I kind of joke with my my parents. I say, well. Uh, hey, you know, at least you can't kick me out of my own home, you know, because <laughs> I was <laughs> I said, good thing, all right, I got a house, you know, you can't kick me out of my own house. <laughs> so I said, you mad, aren't you? you know? In the way that you use humor, I do use a little humor in my work too, but I use beauty and I try to use that to subvert it with the using of my black hands. It's a little bit more confrontational because you're not just able to take the beauty at its surf at face value. I'm trying to complicate what creates beauty in this country and how we see beauty by like making sure you know these black hands um, had something to do with the flowers that you receive. So what's the little things that you do to to get that message across? Well, I think being black is about being bold in many sure. ways. I mean, we're not shy people um, in general. Like we make bold statements, we make bold brush strokes. We, um, we love movement, we love grand gestures. Flowers in the way that they're seen in the high-end context, it's always very safe. It's either um, very tight and paved, which is a very, um, dome shaped, mm -hmm. um, constrained arrangement, or it's very neutral in color. For me, it's about movement. It's about stretching out. I like my arrangements to look like they're um, dancing. I think our default customer in this country is a white man and a white woman with two children. Everybody else just gets the leftovers. And so I've always been like, well, how can I create an experience where the ideal customer or that centric customer is black and that still creates a universal experience. Everything is considered where it is for everyone, but there are little little shorthand secret notes that are for our people. And I love that. I, I love that too. And that's so funny because I, that's, we tried to do that. Well, I, th I think we did that with the Upshaws. Of course, we want everyone to watch the show and love it. But there, there are things of just little, you know, references that's totally for us. Aaliyah, you know, asked Regina for something like, hey, you know, I watched uh, Maya, so you owe me, you know, $3. And I just want Regina to go, for the nine months I carried you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> yeah. No charge, you know. And I know, you know, that's, that's yeah. for us. That's for us. When I'm doing stand up, I've always wanted to say something, you know, you know, not be preachy, but to start a dialogue on on issues and and also I want people to feel safe, you know, like okay, come come to my show. We're going to talk about some stuff, but it's going to be it's going to be safe. It's just to say, "Hey, think about this. This this isn't really right." Don't you think? I I am trying to, you know, um give some, some takeaway that you'll, you know, maybe start a conversation with, with someone else uh, after the show. It, I remember it was a big deal when you came out publicly. Um, mm -hmm. And how did you negotiate that, like, before coming out? And then what prompted you to come out? And then how was it after? 
Right. Well, before coming out, um, I, I was actually married at one time. And it was after I realized that, oh, wow, this is why these relationships don't work. Because I'm mm. gay. I'm gay. You know, <laughs> this is why they always said, you know, I feel like I could leave and you wouldn't blink an eye. You would just go, okay. And I was like, you are absolutely right. <laughs> it's... Oh, well. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it wasn't until I met my my wife and mm. I was, yeah, I was just so in love where it's like, why wouldn't I tell the world about this? You know, mm. um, yeah, it was love. Love really gave me the, the, you know, the courage, I guess. You know, it was a little different for me in that, like, I tried to hide. Mm -hmm. but I couldn't like I was just so flamboyant and so out there in a way that like it, similarly like it wasn't safe to be gay as a child my parents were totally rejecting of it so I just became almost like asexual like where I just didn't deal with it didn't have a girlfriend didn't do anything and um, it wasn't until college where I was in art school my parents actually sat me down and said you want to be careful when you're moving to Los Angeles because the the devil's gonna be busy and he's gonna send his demons and try to make you gay and when I met my best friend I thought that he was the devil <laughs> and I was isn't that a mess <laughs> But it was the first time somebody showed me love, like, mm -hmm. just for who I was. And it wasn't even sexual. He wasn't trying to get with me or anything. He just, like, saw that I was this young kid that, like, needed to find myself. That level of love and support allowed me to become myself. When you see examples of yourself, when you see um, that people are surviving and thriving and figuring out how to negotiate it, even though it's really difficult. You know, those things, representation and images matter. And I think the work that you do um, to, to illustrate that, creating opportunities for that is fire. Uh, like you said, it's important for, for us to, to be out there and to, and to show that you can be a creative, especially for this younger generation. I mean, Man, I'm, I'm just blown away by them. They're just accepting and open and living their lives. People like you have made opportunities for this next generation to do that because they're not as oppressed by the experience that we had to go through. And it's just so exciting to see people like living their best life, living their truth. I just can't wait to see how that continues to um, evolve. What would your advice be to the to the young people now who are coming up, who who are creatives? What would you tell them to do? Be as compassionate and as kind and as patient with yourself as possible. We live in a time that is all results. All we're seeing are results constantly, but like we're not seeing all of the years of work that went into that person becoming who they are. We're just seeing the results. So. Don't compare and despair. You know, it's interesting when people take a flower class from me or see me do something and they'll be like, oh, why is it mine as good? And I'm like, because you haven't been doing it for 13, 14 years, because you haven't practiced. Like, I'm literally an expert. Like, a lot of young people miss that step that everything still takes hard work. What would you say to the young folks? Absolutely, absolutely. If you love what you do, and you have to do it, for it. Right, you have to do it for the right reasons don't if you start off saying i want to do this because i want to get famous you're going to fail you're going to fail miserably and you're not going to enjoy your life you're not going to get the most of it if you are passionate about it and you love it getting there is is you're going to enjoy that the process is so much sweeter and you you appreciate the hard work that you're putting into it because you you're loving what you're what you're doing. So yeah, one hundred percent. Oh my God, Maurice, this is totally, truly, truly, truly has been a treat. Oh Wanda, I've been such a fan for so long, and I'm so grateful that we got to spend this time together. This was just lovely, and I'm so glad that we got this time together. Me too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.